Today I need you to help me answer one very simple question. Should I hike the Appalachian Trail in 2022? Seriously guys, just tell me what to do. Hey there hikers, Adam here. Look at that, spring is basically sprung around here in Massachusetts. But anyways, the other month I had Taylor, the New Hampshire hiker, pose this very specific question to me. Do you wanna hike the AT? Maybe someday. <laughs> someday. Someday. You heard it here first. Now usually I'm a weekend warrior when it comes to my hiking. I've mainly focused on mountains and trails that I can knock out in a single day. That's that classic day hike you usually see in all of my videos. But I have to admit that ever since Taylor posed this question to me, you know, it's kind of been eating away at me little by little ever since. Especially with Taylor's daily Appalachian Trail video reminders. You're freaking crushing it, girl. That view guys nice now for those of you who don't know the Appalachian Trail was established in 1937 and it's a trail that stretches around 2,200 miles from Springer Mountain in Georgia to Mount Katahdin in Maine crossing 14 different states along the way all those states are Georgia North Carolina Tennessee Virginia West Virginia Maryland Pennsylvania New Jersey New York Connecticut Massachusetts Vermont New Hampshire and of course Maine now if that sounds daunting to you you're not wrong if you hiked 20 miles a day every single day that entire trail it would still take you what is it I, th I think four months total. Holy freaking crap. Now maybe that's why I so easily dismiss Taylor's question out of hand in that clip. But I really just wanna work this through with you right now. Weigh my pros and cons for hiking the Appalachian Trail. But there's gotta be better terminology for that. Maybe the challenges and the opportunities. I think I can come up with maybe four or five each. And if I'm forgetting any, feel free to chime in in those comments down below, the ones that you think I'm missing out on. But hey, oh, look at that view. There's Boston for you right there. Ooh, ooh. Obviously the biggest obstacle I'd have to face is that I might actually have to quit my job. And that's scary. They don't typically just let you take four month vacations from those things. Oh, oh I'm high up. Hooey. Oh, wow. Oh, and then we can see the ocean. Now I know this could turn out to be, you know, the adventure of a lifetime and probably one of the more memorable moments or times of my entire life. And honestly, I don't think I've had one of those since my study abroad in Thailand. And that was almost 10 years ago now. Then there's the little fact that I've never actually been backpacking before. You mean to tell me I'm supposed to fit this tent that I've never even opened or used in this backpack and carry it with me 2,200 miles? What are you thinking? Granted, I have been camping before and I've done my fair share of hikes, but I feel like it's just gonna be a whole different animal. On the other hand though, I'd be able to see so much of our own country that I just haven't been able to see yet. I've spent most of my life growing up here in the Northeast, taking in these same views all the time. Just, you know, the Boston skyline, other Northeast things. I've barely spent any time in the South. And most of my traveling up to this point has been focused on international trips, vacations, my study abroad. I've barely been to most of the states in our own country. So that would be a nice change of pace, I think. And then there's the fact that I think I'll even have to change up my normal filming style. As it stands, my whole walking away from this camera and back to this camera makes my hikes take twice as long. And I don't really think that's gonna cut it. I can't afford to turn a four month hike into an eight month hike. I simply can't ignore though, the greater view potential and apparent interest there is in hiking the Appalachian Trail compared to the standard, normal, random trail of the week that I've been doing currently. 
I've seen it too many times now. Brand new channels that were started after me that are simply hiking the Appalachian Trail and posting videos about it, sailing past me in both views, subscribers, everything. There's greater interest and it's all shooting styles, all video lengths, all different personalities, guys, girls, doesn't seem to matter. It's lifting all the boats. You can see in these graphs here, the one line is my line and the other line is the shooting off straight into the stratosphere are the people hiking the Appalachian Trail. And it's just so funny to me how you can literally see the day in which they started posting their first videos from the trail. Like it is that stark, it is that much of a light switch. It's freaking ridiculous. This last graph is one of the most interesting because you can see that the channel literally didn't even exist in the time period that I took a look at this. You can see the red line doesn't even continue. My channel existed much longer before this one and it's freaking crushing me. Hell, even the more established creators get more attention and traction when they focus their content on the Appalachian Trail. Look, you can see here, Taylor the New Hampshire hiker happened with her. And even here, Kyle hates hiking. All the content for the Appalachian Trail seems to have more interest and perform better than the other content. Simply the best example that I can give is that Taylor and I spent nine, almost 10 hours hiking the trails of Mount Chikorwa to make both of our videos. Yet, as you can see, a video about us actually hiking a trail, it, you know, it got thousands of views for her, but a video talking about when she was gonna hike the Appalachian Trail in the future, not actually hiking it, when she was gonna hike it in the future, got double the views of us actually doing an actual hike. Who knew that Appalachian Trail YouTube would just be that much bigger than generic hiking YouTube? <laughs> But before I can even think about trying to cater to that apparent audience, I'm gonna have to come up with a new way maybe to even edit my videos. Cause you know, right now, I'm currently editing on this beast of a laptop, which as you can see is kinda large and I don't really think it would fit very well in a backpack and it's almost like three or four pounds just on its own. It is quite heavy and hey, with all the rain and the elements, I'm not sure this bad boy would even hold up after 2,200 miles. So I have to put a little more thought into that and figure out how I would even deliver the videos to you as I'm going along. But, you know, another thing to think about. All right, what am I on now? More opportunities? Okay, I, uh, they're becoming harder and harder to think, guys. The and I feel like I'm just descending into all the old obvious cliches when it comes to something like this. Maybe, maybe how about the, the interesting people I'd meet along the way or, or just even seeing if I can do it. And that, that might be a tall order uh, for that last one. Because honestly, guys, I think hiking the Appalachian Trail all 2,200 miles might still be, be like the hardest thing I would have ever attempted to do in my entire life. The only thing I can think of that even comes close might be, you know, the two marathons that I rode when I was on the crew team in school. Uh, yeah, those might actually be physically literally more difficult. Wait, don't think of it like that. Think of it more like this. Wagging back and forth on a freaking erg for three and a half hours. My legs were burning. My butt freaking wanted to fall right off. Now, is that all that similar to hiking 2,200 miles on the Appalachian Trail? Yeah, probably not. But, you know, it was the hardest physical thing I've ever done in my life. And I'm sure it'll be just as hard as that. Probably harder, but in a different way but I really don't know what that is until I do it. All right, no more fancy edits now. Even with it all laid out like that, it's still really up in the air. I'm not really sure what to do. I feel like I'm missing tons of other potential opportunities that would arise from hiking the trail. I think that's just my silly brain only focusing on the negative and all the reasons not to tackle such a large endeavor. So compared to all my normal videos, this is the one I really wanna hear from you in those comments down below. What is your opinion? What do you think I should do? Should I hike the Appalachian Trail in 2022? Oh man, woo, hey look at that. Simply put, guys, depending on how you all respond to this idea will greatly factor into, you know, whether I end up deciding to do it or not. It's a non-insignificant or not, a not, 
significant? I don't know exactly how to say it. But you know, at the end of the day, maybe the idea of knowing there's a couple hundred people out there cheering me on or vice versa will make this whole endeavor seem a whole lot less daunting and a little bit more doable. But until that time comes, feel free to check out one of the other hikes that I have linked up here. And as I always say, now go get hiking. That sounds daunting to you. You're not. <laughs>